Hey, shout out to Shannon Sharp, man, for finally leaving FS1, man, and that bull crap he been going through with Skip Bayless. Let's get into it. Major sounds in the kitchen cooking up, boy. Welcome back, fam. Y'all already know who it is and what it is. I'm your host, Major Quee, and this is the Trending Topic Podcast. Now, everybody that watch sports has been hearing all the melee today about uh, Shannon Sharp leaving FS1 and Skip Bayless. Um, everybody's got opinion at this point. Um, I, I'm one of the ones that felt like at first, I felt like uh, Shannon should have been left. You know what I'm saying? But it's more to the story. It's more to his situation, you know, than what we all know as fans and as, you know, just people uh, watching. So, yeah, we just going to get straight into these clips. I want to show you all these these two clips. And it's more stuff that I felt like, you know, um, would cause Shannon to lead the show. But at the same time, some of the stuff, I just feel like, hey, man, both of those guys just got, you know, that competitive nature. With Skip Bayless being on, you know, uh, TV, sports networks and, and, and for years, and, and with Shannon Sharp being an NFL star, you know what I'm saying, a Hall of Famer, that competitive nature is going to be there with both of those guys. So, um, but, yeah, I'm going to show you all these clips of the reason why I feel like he should have been left. Let's go speculation of why I wasn't on air yesterday and I won't get into speculation or conjecture or innuendo but I will say this in watching that game on Monday night uh, what happened to DeMar Hamlin struck me a little different um, as a brotherhood in the NFL when injuries happen when we know injuries are a part of the game I've seen guys suffer ACLs and Achilles tear but I've never seen anybody have to be revived and fight for their life on the field so it struck me a little differently because I remember seeing my brother paralyzed on the field temporarily and he was able to regain focus. And let me say this. You know, I hate to stop it. Well, let me say this. All right. So if I'm not mistaken, because it happened a while ago. So if I'm not mistaken, this was the second video um, from the Tom Brady video. So this came after the Tom Brady video. But I actually got it set up to where I'm going to show the Tom Brady video. Um, that's going to be the next clip. You know what I'm saying? So. You know what I mean? I know this happened after the whole Tom Brady situation, but I just wanted to show y'all what made me feel like, oh, yeah, it's time for you to leave, Shannon. You know what I'm saying? But let's get more into it. Focus. Um, Skip tweeted something, and although I disagree with the tweet, uh, and, and uh, hopefully uh, Skip would take it down, but I didn't want it. Well, yep. Time out. Time out. I'm not going to take it down because okay. I stand by okay. what I tweeted. Skip, let me okay. finish. Let me... All right. Okay. Go ahead. Mm. No, you go. Mm, he said he stand by what he tweeted. So basically, he really didn't have, he really was not sympathetic at all to the situation. And this is an older guy. I don't know how old Skip is. So even if a person, this type of situation is not something that somebody have to talk to you about. You know what I'm saying? With, with, with being at the age, he look at least 55, damn near 60. You know what I'm saying? With being at that age, man, nobody should have to tell you how you're not being in or you're being insensitive about a, a situation like that. You're a sports analyst. You see injuries. You hear about injuries all the time. This injury was a life threatening injury. You mean to tell me that you wouldn't want you wouldn't have wanted Shannon Sharp to feel sympathetic if you were you would have happened to pass out right there on live TV? You mean to tell me you you would want uh, Shannon to Watch the EMT drag you off and then continue with the show. Come on, man. That's exactly why I wanted to show this clip because I felt as if um, with him being so insensitive, what if it would have happened to him? Would, would, would he expect Shannon to continue the show? Would he? I don't know. Y'all let me know. Would he would have expected Shannon to continue the show? Oh, oh, oh. Y'all come get his ass. Come get his ass, drag him out. We just going to continue the show because the show is just too good. So many people are watching. We're not going to go to credits. We're not going to go to uh, 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 to a commercial or none of that. We just finna continue the show. He would have. Come on, man. Come on. And, and, and like I say, with him issuing an apology later on, that was not sincere. We was not. And wasn't nobody feeling that. Wasn't nobody even, you know entertaining that because as old as you are it shouldn't take somebody to come tell you that you're being insensitive go ahead let's go jen 
Okay. I mean, I cannot even get through a monologue without you interrupting okay. me. Well, you could have came back, Skip. Well, I thought, Skip, just let me. I, I didn't know I, you I were going to bring up No, this. I was just going to say, Skip, I didn't want to yesterday to get into a situation where DeMar Hamlin was the issue. We should have been talking about him and not get into, okay. your, not get into your, uh, uh, your tweet. That's he what called I was in his do. feelings. But you can't even let me finish my opening monologue without you interrupting. That's what people do. When they caught in their feelings and they know they wrong and they caught down bad, that's what they do. They cut you off. They interrupt you. They don't want to hear nothing about what you got to say because they know they are fully wrong. He knows he's fully wrong. He knows that. But, but, but at the same time, he, stand, he stood on what he tweeted. That was the bad part about it. You stand on it. When you stand on something, that means I mean what I say and I say what I mean and that's all I got to say and that's all I want to hear. But he's showing a level of disrespect that would have caused me, like me personally, I'm not Shannon Sharp. Excuse me. I'm not Shannon Sharp. I'm not as professional. I just started this podcast last year, the end of in, 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 in November. So I'm not professional at all. Y'all see me drinking. Y'all see me, you know what I'm saying? I'm not that professional to be able to sit up there and listen to him talk, talk about another one of my athlete brothers, the way, not talk about him, but you know, handle the situation the way he handled it. Standing on stuff, knowing that it was wrong. Like, if you wrong, just be wrong. I don't understand that. Okay. I was under the impression you weren't going to bring this up because nobody here had a problem with no, that tweet. No. Clearly, the bosses wanted you to offer explanations, so clearly somebody No, they did not have... The, nobody... Let's go, Jen. <laughs> Shannon didn't want to hear that. Look at his face. Thoughts and prayers remain with Damar Hamlin. That's gentlemen. where the focus should have been, and continues. not on the football game. Yes, let's Facts. go, Jen. Thank you. Facts. No objectivity. It's just straight uh -oh. Brady. Yeah. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Now, this is the video that maybe I should have shown first because this video is, is specifically about, you know, why I felt like Shannon should have been left. You know what I mean? But I had to say the best clip for last, so you know... Let's get into it. I don't want to even... This is just straight hate by a guy who's jealous that he is still playing at a high level at 45 when you had to stop at 35. Yeah, that's what you that's do. That's the point. That's what you do. Every time somebody, every time I call something into question, I'm jealous. No. Yeah, I did no, what I did. I never did. said you were jealous of Baker Mayfield. Yeah, I did what I did. You make it seem like I was a bum. I... Hey, listen. One thing, you see how, you see how crunk Shannon is getting. One thing I know as being a former athlete and as being watching athletes, one thing I know that we are competitive. We have a competitive nature. That's the main thing that triggered Shannon. He, I mean, he's an athlete. And for you to tell him, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and low blow him, first of all, we ain't even finna, I, I ain't even worried about the, the competitive nature for the most part. I'm mostly thinking about the fact that if y'all watch FS1 and y'all watch skipping um, Shannon, in the past, y'all have seen that both of them acknowledge that they are they they do consider themselves as being friends of each other. So if you are my friend, why would you low blow me like that? I've seen a lot of friends fight. I've seen a lot of friends argue. But this right here is a complete low blow. If we are friends, we never hit below the belt. Not like this. Not like this. We don't hit below the belt. And if if somebody do end up hitting below the belt, I can guarantee you the relationship will never be the same. So, you know, this is one of the prime examples why I felt like he should have been left. But like I said in the beginning, it's other things to this story on why he didn't leave and why, you know, I now feel like, uh, okay, I understand why he didn't leave. Well, let's get into it. I'm in the effing Hall of Fame. Okay. I got so three what? Super Bowls. So what? So what? Super He's Bowls. way better than you were. I'm better than you were. I got to see what you oh, do. You take, sorry, sorry, no, no, you take personal shots. No, I don't take personal shots. Listen to what Skip said. How in the hell are you going to sit there as a friend, tell your friend that somebody that you have never met is better than me like that? You, you ain't no friend. Not at all. You are not a friend. If you're going to sit here and, 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 and as much as we claim that we're, we got a good relationship and a good report and we're friends, I'm going to claim you as my friend and then tell you that another person that I do not know that this is a contact sport, but Tom Brady does not get con a lot of contact. 
We talking about Shannon Sharp that was a tight end, man. Seen multiple, seen many, and and, and felt many, con much contact. Let me say it like that. Felt a lot of contact. So you mean to tell me a person that as soon as you touch him, you see flags all over the field? Somebody, you're going to call him? Yeah, he the GOAT at the quarterback position. He's not a he's not he's not the best player in the world. He's not. Tom Brady is not the best football player in the world. Come on, y'all. Like, let's be real for those who really believe in that. He's the GOAT at the quarterback position. But that's a low blow, man. That's a low blow. You started it. Time out. You would take a personal shot at me. I so didn't take a personal shot at you. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? You would take a personal shot. Put your glasses back on. Ooh. Can I finish? You're willing to take a personal shot at me to say this man is better than me because I say he's playing bad this year? Well, because you 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 just go ahead. You disrespect me. You 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 you. He ain't got nothing to say. You you just you go well because you, you nah, bro. Like he said, you willing to low blow me just because I said he played bad this year? Like, are you serious? That ain't no true friend. It, it's just Go so. It, so it's you would just, you know what? It's beneath your you dignity. You would disrespect me to no. support him. No, well, I'll, I'll support him over anybody because he's the greatest player who ever played your game, and it's by far. Have, have it. Okay? Take off. Bro. I'm going to have at it because I'm going to have at you because what happened yesterday? The Bucks' defense was horrendous oh, he yesterday. Hear about that. What happened? They win the toss and they defer. Let's give the ball to. No, oh, he ain't. Uh, Shannon didn't want to hear nothing else. At the end of the day, Shannon didn't want to hear nothing else, man. And it's crazy that, you know, Skip actually thought that, I mean, he thought that he was just going to move on with another topic and that Shannon was going to be okay and cool with it. Yeah, he's professional, so he got to go along with it. The show is still going. Your job is still need to be done. It's understandable. You know what I'm saying? But like I said in the beginning, like, I felt like he should have just left and been done with it. But... I don't know how I don't know the ramifications when it comes to being a sports analyst. You know what I'm saying? That's that's not my field. You feel what I'm saying? So my thing is, you know, I felt as if maybe, you know, he's under a contract. And if he were to breach or broke the contract, you know, they they could have possibly sued him. I don't know how it works. Maybe y'all do. I don't. You know what I'm saying? He's a professional. I was watching this um podcast show, radio podcast show, uh, Be High and um, uh, Gangsta Wicked. Some of y'all may know about it, some of y'all may not. Y'all go check them out, subscribe to them too, man. I love the show, I love the content, you know what I mean? So, But anyway, I was watching them talk about it um, earlier today, you know what I'm saying? And um, one thing Wicked was talking about was the fact that, you know, when it comes to, you know, you just quitting, the, nobody, no grown person is just going to quit a job. I don't care how mad you get. You know, I've noticed, it, you know, in my own line of work that there's a lot of racist people out there. You know what I'm saying? But that, you know, you just can't just quit without grabbing another job. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what Wicked was mainly talking about. Also, the fact that, you know, he got a lot of family. You know, we, we, he he's probably taking care of half his family. You know what I'm saying? He's a multi-millionaire, so he's probably taking care of half his family. Then on top of it, like I said, man, he's basically under a contract with FS1. So, you know, he just going to bleed out his contract and then this, and move on so like i said that's why i feel now that shannon Sharp made the best um decision for himself and for his family because if he would have just up and left who knows what fs1 would have done who knows you know what i'm saying and then just think about anybody else that want to deal with him you know how the game work you know y'all know how this game work you know what i'm saying if they see he walk off just randomly walk off a storm out or slap the shit out of uh, uh skip bayless a lot of nobody else was going to want to work with him so yeah I respect his level of, of professionalism. I do respect that because, like I told y'all, I ain't been doing podcasts long enough. So if if I'm being disrespected like that, <laughs> we gonna have to t we gonna have to t turn off this professionalism and we gonna have to get it get it get it going right then and there. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't disrespect somebody right then and there, a Hall of Famer. You know what I'm saying? Three-time champ. You don't disrespect somebody. And somebody that you call your friend and you low blow them like that for somebody else that you don't even know. Come on, y'all. Am I right or am I right? Like, and, 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 and you know, that's why I felt like he should have been left. But I already told y'all why. Now, I don't feel like he left. I don't want to be rambling. But, yeah, like, what y'all think, man? Tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think that... Do y'all think that... 
Skip Bayless got it out for Shannon? Do y'all think that Skip Bayless was pretending to be his friend just to, you know what I'm saying? Like, And if it's all work, let it be all work. But like I told y'all, and a lot of y'all have seen it for y'all self, they have both considered each other as being friends of each other. So if we say we friends, we're friends on or off the job. We're friends. So don't low blow me. You know what I mean? Like, why would you low blow me? You feel me? So it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm, but but one thing I, I wanted to end the note off with, because I don't want to keep y'all too long, because y'all already know, you know what I'm saying? I got things to do, bills to pay, whatever, whatever. I commend Shannon Sharp for being as professional as possible. Now, he ain't as professional as uh, Chris Rock when he got the shit slapped out on by Will Smith. He ain't that professional. But I commend him for being professional enough to sit there and not explode on, bro on, on, on live TV, you know, and haul off and do something crazy that he was going to regret. I commend him for that. You know, much respect for that. You know what I'm saying? He, um, he, he, he basically, you know, um, showed a lot of us that's doing these podcasts and things how to be professional and how to not blow up and explode when there's something being said that you don't like you know what i'm saying so let me know now in the comment section what y'all think about this whole situation um do y'all think skip bayless was really a friend or he was just playing friend just because they had to work together what y'all think down in the comment section let me know you know what i'm saying like share subscribe all that good stuff y'all already know who it is and what it is baby we out